In our HealthCast today, a minimally invasive therapy for treating hair loss is growing in popularity. Dr. Martin Zayek, who's the director of the Department of Dermatology at Mount Sinai Medical Center, is using a new method of hair stimulation that involves combining growth factors with stem cells from a patient's own hair follicles. So we take some tissue from the hair follicles. There's a special process where we grind it down and make it into a solution. That solution then we re-inject back into the scalp and those stem cells that are from the follicles are going to probably be more effective than stem cells from the blood, which are more general. Dr. Zaya goes on to say that one treatment done twice a year in combination with other topical and oral medications has been shown to be beneficial in patients who have a certain kind of hair loss, the male or female pattern hair loss. It's for that patient that doesn't have so much hair loss, that is starting to lose hair, that wants to try to prevent and maintain the hair that they have, Dr. Zayek says when used in the right patient, the Regenera therapy can make existing hair look stronger and thicker. In other health news, according to the CDC, mental health among teenagers is showing signs of improvement. Some good news there. The agency reports that emergency room visits for mental health conditions dropped between the fall of 2021 and 2022. Researchers say the end of the pandemic restrictions was a likely factor since teens were able to finally return to school and be more social. Even so, CDC data shows that mental and behavioral issues among teens is still higher than pre-pandemic levels. And the CDC is urging health providers to be on the lookout for ringworm these days. It comes after two women in New York who were infected with the illness did not respond to medication. The first case in 2021 involved a woman who was pregnant at the time and had no recent travel history. The second case happened last year when another woman developed an infection while traveling to Bangladesh. Both were prescribed multiple treatments but did not improve. They needed weeks of therapy to get rid of the infection. The findings suggest that drug-resistant ringworm might be spreading here in the U.S.